So fast forward to the Big East tournament. You guys fight back against Villanova for a 75 to 70 win, which sets up a rematch against Miami, who you guys lost to to end the season. It was a tight game the whole way. Mario Bland hits two free throws with 7.6 seconds left to put Miami up one. He's putting his finger into his mouth, trying to silence the Madison Square Garden crowd. What's happening in the huddle at this time? And did you see Bland trying to shush the crowd? I, I did see it, but once again, I, I didn't pay no mind because we still had time left on the clock. Um, you know, we 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 want to continue to attack them, uh, try to get them in foul trouble, uh, get to the free throw line, you know, you know, stop the clock and, and you know, get even buckets. Um, a lot of times, you know, that 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 did work, you know, people trying to silence the crowd or try to silence us, but um, you know, we we stay we stay focused. We stay with you know what was our goal and what was our you know our, our key you know plays. So let's go through this uh, last seven point six seconds that I know, say John's fans of age can remember. Eric Barkley runs the floor. Ball goes out of bounds. Stays with say John's. Two point six seconds left. Barkley finds you under the basket. You go up with it and get absolutely demolished by like three dudes and sends you to the line with 2.2 seconds left in the game. You're one of five from the free throw line at this moment. And Johnny Hemsley tried to walk up to you and distract you. What's going on at this time? I'm not going to lie. Like I got the ball. My goal was to get to the rim. But like it was so many people around me, it was impossible to get to the ring. And when the referee blew his whistle, you know, I, I went to the free throw line and I I knew I was I didn't shoot good from free throw line that night. And then I was I was a little nervous, but soon as you know Henry came up to me, I said, I have to make this two. I have to. And the the, the once the first shot went in, I said, I'm, I'm making the second one. That's, but Johnny tried to Johnny, Johnny tried to give you a high five or something like that, right? Well, did he say something to you also? I think he's, I know he said something, but I, I can't remember what he said, but I know he said something. But after the first shot went in, I knew the second was going in. But that, that gave me motivation right there. It's like you're trying to, you're trying to block me and, and trying to distract me. So once that first shot went in, it was over. I mean, there, there was guys talking <laughs> at me. During the uh, when I was had to put my hand shooting a free throw, you know I'm not gonna say what it was, but there was talking. So um, after that, after the second one went in, you know I, I kind of celebrated a little bit, you know in my in, in in my head, but I had to run back. There was still time left uh, for them to get a shot off. I remember talking to Mo Hatton about his game winning free throw against Duke, and he said he was so prepared for the moment because he practiced it all the time at his grandmother's house. And he said he would visualize it as a kid when shooting around. Did you feel similarly? I mean, listen, you, you weren't the best free throw shooter, 61% that year, but in such a pressured moment, you talk about being nervous, but did you feel that you had it in you to overcome even your poor free throw shooting? Is there a bit of adrenaline? Is there a bit of that, you know, I got to win this for my squad? Like what, What's the emotions in you, you know, in that big, big moment? Um, my adrenaline was definitely running. Um, I, I didn't want to just win it, you know, for myself, my teammates. I wanted to win it for my friends and the people that came to watch this game. Um, and you know, so I had my family in the stands, and you know, uh, it's something we practice as well. And at St. John's, you know, um, Coach Jarvis sometimes have us play full court and um we a stop and you know he a point somebody shoot a free throw. You know, sometimes you got people, you know, yelling, you know, on the sidelines, you know, the managers, you know, yelling at us. So it's we we practice that as well. I mean, I was prepared at just that at that time in the game, I felt like I didn't want to let my teammates or my fans or my friends or my family down. And like I said, how many gave me that that edge where I say, you know what, I'm going to make these two. Most nervous you've ever been to shoot a free throw? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in, in college, yeah. 